I was driving down um, Standard Street and there were some teenagers who were taking photos um, against the wall for the bank. Mm -hmm. And the the photos they were taking was, so the girl faces the wall and then there's two guys side by um on either side of her and one was grabbing one butt cheek and the other one was grabbing the other butt cheek I w- and there was this guy he set up all his cameras and everything i'm like how is this how is this a photo shoot mm. what are you, what exactly i'm sure they were not older than 19 they mm. looked so young and this girl seemed very much okay with this situation and she didn't seem to be bothered at all i saw some of these pictures and i'm like guy honestly i did not think Girls and boys are putting out such pictures on social media. I know there's some pages that um I get tagged on. Mm-hmm. Someone's like, I want to be a model, but the photos they've taken, you're like, honey, this is this is soft porn. There's nothing um professional about what um you know whatever mm-hmm. it is you're trying to do here. Because if somebody goes through your page, it honestly looks like you're trying to sell your body. And you wonder how a professional photographer would be okay with a girl who's very young or a boy who's very young taking more or less um nudist photos mm-hmm. and then upload these photos on social media every every time something goes onto the internet i can guarantee you even when you're sev- uh, 75 years old and you want to run for president somebody will dig up that photo and say listen is this the person that you guys want to run your country now facebook memories of late oh i have bus bus Dumbo. i used to be a hater this direction of them having fun isn't really making sense. So today we just want to talk about why this is happening, number one. And two, can we actually give people a sense of direction? We're not the best of people, of but you course, see the internet, but it's like just the trying to help. The the internet, the people who everybody looks and up that's to the thing. are these people who are getting um, millions of likes for posting nude photos. And then um, a silly young boy or girl somewhere says, you know what, I'm going to do this for the gram. I mean, come on. The first instinct would be to blame, to blame it on parenting. Mm. Well, yeah, I think that plays a part in that, you know, in this age where there's so much exposure, parents need to be there more than ever for their kids. You know, it's not like the past where our parents would normally just Mm -hmm. live their lives without being supervised. Right. But I feel also the exposure to staff has also added a lot to to this kind of life. Mm -hmm. This is clearly a symptom for something Mm -hmm. seriously wrong in their lives. And this is just a way for them to, mm-hmm. as an outlet, or to just get more attention than, mm-hmm. than they are actually getting. Um, it could be their parents could be a myriad of mm-hmm. many things. Mm-hmm. I'm not a psychologist, but clearly they have problems. There's, there's if something. this is how they think that they should get attention. I don't, I don't want to blame the parents. Okay, you know, we have social media. You find like people, you have their mother on the same Instagram, like mm. their friends, you have your aunties, you have your cousins. Yeah. So really, it's, I think if the parents really want to keep up with their children's account, they can do it. You know, be your sister's keeper. If your cousin is posting pictures, you know, like like this, we are seeing... Uh, What's the hashtag again? If Ike was was Azazi. Azazi. Then let it Fikia Wazazi, you know. Mm. So I think it's the pressure of the likes and all that because yes. every you know, the minute you show your bum and something you mm. get followers like crazy and that's how many people are getting followers. Mm.